Hey Aquarius, this is Soul. And Aquarius, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of August 8th through the 14th, 2016. Okay, so let's jump right into the messages for you Aquarius, uh, for some Aquarians that I'm reading for. And actually, I feel this is going to be a pretty good week for some of you because your starting energy is the star card, which is in the upright position. Uh, the star card, of course, being a major arcana, major life event. Uh, this energy represents uh, wishes, hopes, and dreams coming true for some of you this week. So this is a general reading. So whatever it means to you um, in terms of that, uh, this is the potential energy that you can encounter. Okay. The star card is representative of Aquarius. So this is you, Aquarius. This is going to be your week uh, for good things happening. And I just feel a positive energy. Uh, with a lot of you. The star card also represents for me uh, an increase in, not necessarily an increase in internet activity. I just feel that there's something important to do with uh, being on the internet. This involves uh, social media. So whatever your social media venue is, um, you know, Facebook, Instagram, um, like I said, whatever your social outlet is, that you use to communicate with people, I feel that this particular week is, uh, there may be an increase of that activity. Also too, the star represents uh, online dating. So there could be uh, some of you who are on online dating sites and there's a potential of uh, connecting. This is for the single Aquarians that I'm reading for um, about this message, connecting with someone via the internet, online dating, you know, match.com, whatever you, have yourself set up on in terms of uh, a dating site uh, there could be for some of you having to implement uh, with the star card showing up uh, if you are a website owners there may be a overhaul or there may be some of you for the very first time putting up websites um, and this is to reach out to other people or whatever it is that you're doing to uh, put yourself out there and communicate and to uh, reach those people. Uh, I feel it may be related to some sort of uh, work or business, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. So, again, this star card also represents this could be a week for some Aquarians having some sort of uh, epiphanies when it comes to dreams. So pay attention to your dreams this week because I do feel that some of you want to have some uh, dreams. Th those dreams may be instrumental in um, allowing you to figure out uh, what your next best move is going to be for you in your life. Okay, so I feel that there's a lot of dream and some of you are going to be daydreaming <laughs> this week. So I'm not going to rule that out as well with the star card showing up. The star card is very powerful energy. It's a very good card, positive card. And it just, uh, like I said before, whatever it is that you hope for, wish for, dream for, this is the potential week of that coming to you. Okay. Uh, when it comes to a relationship for those single Aquarians, uh, and then there's the potential of meeting someone um, online on a web, you know, on an online dating site now we have the princess of wands so the princess of wands is in the upright and it could be that some of you connect with fire energies um when it comes to uh, dating or connecting with someone new now connecting with someone new if you're single doesn't necessarily have to take place uh from the internet but I do feel strongly that some of these connections are going to be made and we have the potential of a fire sign. Uh, the princess is the initiation of something new, something coming in quick. And it's also related to in the positive or I'm sorry, in the upright relating to positive energy, uh, a lot of creativity, passion, and just a lot of drive being enthusiastic so that supports the star card where i said that you know for some of you you may have a an extraordinary week when it comes to energy and connections and all things good in a positive way so 
also I feel that there is an Aquarius or two that I am reading for that's currently involved with a fire sign and it may have because it is the princess and it's the start of something new or the initi initiation of something new so that's given me um, a message and, and at least what I'm hearing that there was something that was just started recently um, so some of you may have started dating a fire sign that would represent the princess of something coming in quick and starting quickly or the initiation and if that is the case then I'm getting that so far for you um, it seems like the relationship is full of passion and sexual energy is there as well also too I feel that the you know the the coupled Aquarians may be experiencing uh, some sort of uh, intense passion and creativity within term within their relationships okay something's going on now let me go back here because it doesn't necessarily have to be I am picking up that there is a fire sign fire sign energy is connected with an Aquarius in a dating or in a relationship that is already established but also too it could be with any zodiac sign when this princess of wands shows up this is a physical card so it's a card of movement a card of action okay so it's a lot of um energy for some aquariums to be very physical this week in terms of movement just getting things done getting things in order and also too this is about a um you know keeping things in perspective and control okay not necessarily aquarius being in control of others it's just Aquarius being in control of themselves their actions and what benefits you okay so it's a very physical week now I feel in the middle of the week for some of you we have the two of disc in the uh, reverse and actually I'm getting energy uh, specific to some of you may feel like you're a little bit off balance but I don't feel that is significant uh, the two of disc in the uh, reverse also is indicative of some of you who have may excuse me who may have been uh, off balance and then sometime during the midweek possibly then there's a restoration of you seeking balance now the two represents two people in terms of um, uh, energies the two of disc is earth so Capricorn Virgo Taurus male or female I feel that there is um, uh, earth sign who may be a little bit unsteady or unstable uh, in relations to a, an Aquarius. This is a, a romantic uh, relationship that I'm picking up. This also, too, could be a uh, friendship, too. Yeah, and I like this card. I like those eyes. In the, it's actually a butterfly, but they have two eyes on the wings. Uh, in the reverse, it just means that... Um, some of you may be thrown off balance a little bit when it comes to relationships or someone significant in your uh, life. This also could involve uh, children since this is a general reading. It could be that you're thrown off a little bit, um, you know, off balance when it comes to your work detail. OK, so but it's not something that you need to uh, significantly uh, worry about uh, because it's minimized uh, because it is the two. OK, just feeling that there's something going on in terms of a personal relationship that. Uh, it's not your energy, it's the energy um, that's associated with you that they may be feeling just a T-bit insecure and unsteady at this time. And it may be related to money or finances, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. All right, so the tail end of your reading, uh, Aquarius, Friday going into the weekend. Now we have a Knight of Discs, so this is even better. It's the Knight of Discs and it's in the upright. So this is the potential uh, since we have the princess of wands and then we have the knight of disc of two people and then we have the two of two of two of disc here okay so it's all about uh making those connections with others now it could be romantic it could be you know a development of a friendship the knight of disc specifically uh is related to uh at least the messages that i'm getting uh referring to promotions and possible um yeah, there's some sort of promotion or some sort of increase going on in your uh, 
work environment. Now, this could be financial. So some of you could be not only promoted, but there could be pay raises, bonuses, commissions, excuse me, commissions coming your way. OK, this is the knight in shining armor in the upright. It's it's how I see it is shining and when it's in the upright, when it's in the reverse, it's not so shiny. OK, so there could be. Uh, someone coming to Aquarius's rescue um, towards the end of the week. This individual is stable. And they're coming across as being very sincere. And they're also coming across as being generous. OK, so that could be um, anyone that's close, personal or significant uh, to you. So this is a general reading. So I'm trying to broaden the messages for you, Aquarius, the best that I can and cover all areas and aspects of your life. Uh, when it comes to that star card in the night of disc and the princess of wands that's the emphasis of uh connecting for those singles out there looking to connect this is a a very favorable week for you to connect with someone new uh in terms of romance and intimacy so this is a pretty good uh reading for you aquarius i love the star card because that a star card represents you aquarius okay all right so the um Golden Path Tarot card that I have selected for you, not Tarot, Golden Path Oracle card, I'm sorry, got a little thrown off there, um, is Seasons of the Heart, okay? So I'm just going to read a snippet uh, from the textbook related to the Seasons of the Heart for you, Aquarius, uh, as soon as I can find it. Okay, all right, so Seasons of the Heart. Uh, and it just says, <clears throat> well, first and foremost, they have up here spring, summer, autumn, winter, spring, and so it goes forevermore. Accept the changing seasons of your life. There is no need to fear, for your life is simply evolving in accordance with the will of nature and the divine will of your soul. Trust in life's flow and know that the universe is a loving and benevolent force. Like nature, your life is a continuous cycle of change. Every season, though different, holds its own particular beauty. Each season has its challenges and blessings, its good times and its sad times. Okay, so this is just a snippet. It is uh, more to this, but it's extensive. Um, <clears throat> but I just want to make sure that I'm not uh, going over my time limit here as far as uh, keeping these uh, videos at a minimum. But anyway, this is a very good reading for uh, some Aquarians uh, this upcoming week, I feel. And I hope it is because I'm Aquarius rising and, you know, I need something good to happen, too. So we'll see how it turns out. But anyway, if the above reading Aquarius doesn't resonate with you, then the Oracle cards are drawn. There may be a message in there that does resonate with you and vice versa. OK, Aquarius, once again, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. I do want to uh, wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead, sending out a lot of positive energy and vibes your way. Until the next time, Aquarius, enjoy this star card because it's going to be a good week for some of you. And uh, I wish you all love and light. Until the next time. Bye.